Hello fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make some paper squishy blind bags. This video has been requested for so long. In this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my paper squishy blind bags. I already made all the squishies and I'm now in the process of making the actual blind bags. So I was like, why not just make a tutorial while I'm making them? So here are some of my old blind bags that I've made in the past. You guys might recognize some of these. So I made a miraculous paper squishy blind bag. I made pop it fruits and veggies blind bag i made pop tarts rare flavors and crumble cookies i'm probably gonna remake this one like an updated version because crumble cookies is like trending again so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how i make them and like the bags that go inside of it let's get on to the video the materials you'll need to make this blind bag is paper of course a pencil tape scissors markers and some plastic bags like this okay so the very first step you're gonna want to do is fold your piece of paper in half just like this it also depends on the kind of squishy you're making this would be enough space for like one blind bag we now have to design the blind bag i'm just gonna start off with some bubble letters in the middle i just do like normal writing to kind of plan out where the letters are gonna be and then just trace it out Now that the words are all done, I'm just going to draw some little designs around the bag to make it more like on theme and cute. And for this part, I just scroll through Pinterest and try to find some little inspiration pictures to put onto the blind bag. So now that I'm done with sketching the whole design of the blind bag, I'm now just gonna go in with my black pen as always and outline everything. Okay, so after outline, I'm just going to take my pencil and start erasing all of the pencil marks. I think I went a little too high on this one. And also make sure your pen is like dry because we don't want no smudging, which always happens to me mainly with like pens to color. They always smudge when I try to erase the pencil marks. So just try to not do that. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done guys with like erasing and outlining. So now I'm gonna take my markers and start coloring her in. So this is how my blind bag turned out after coloring it. Once we're done coloring, I'm just gonna take my tape and start taping it closed like a little bag. So what I like to do is get a big strip of tape, cut it. I just grab like little pieces from here. Oh no. Now I'm just going to take my bag and place little pieces of tape right at the edge like that and i'm going to fold it over and then repeat the same steps all the way down so just keep taping it close Once it's done being taped all the way around, it should look a little something like this, like a pocket almost, where we can put stuff in. And now is the time where these little sandwich plastic bags come in. So I'm just going to put one of my squishies in here to kind of measure how big I want the bag to be. And I think I can use one bag for two squishies because these are pretty small. 
I think I'm gonna just cut like halfway, like right here, and then cut all the way down. And we're not gonna need the little zipper part, so we can just cut that out as well, right on the line. So once I have a little rectangle like this, there should be like two sides that are open, so I'm just going to tape them all up. Okay, so after we have our little rectangle, I'm going to place it on another piece of paper and just kind of measure it out. This is also an extra step that you can do or choose to not do. It's up to you, but this is what I usually do. And then I just measure it out and then I'm going to fold it over because I want it to be double-sided and then i'll just cut it out okay so now that it's cut out i'm just going to put a little question mark in the middle last time i colored it all black so it could be like a black outline bag but this time i'm just gonna do a question mark in the middle so i'm just gonna take this marker and just draw a simple little question mark i don't have to sketch it out or anything so just like that right in the center and fill it in I'm just gonna open it up that's so bad just make this one thicker and just do like a little question marks around it because it's like a mystery you know now i'm just gonna put the little paper thing inside of the plastic bag we just cut oh my gosh the tape is getting oh. and then we're just going to tape it together just like that Tape it up. Once that's done, we can open up our bag just like this and place our paper squishy inside so it can be ready to be packaged. So we just put it in right here, fits perfectly, and then seal it up. Place the tape and close it. So now we can put our little mini blind bag into our bigger blind bag just like that and we're done i can also make more of these or i can make more of the little bags and just put them all in here so we don't have to repeat this process a lot because you waste less paper because i just used to make like a whole bunch of these and then make one bag for each one when there can fit way more than just one little bag thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something new so you guys can recreate this in any way you want i know a lot of you guys have youtube channels and do blind bag videos as well so hopefully this helped out i'm gonna be making a bunch more in the future so let me know which blind bag series i should do next i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye